And that, and that, yeah. <laughs> I've been drinking for a while. Oh, okay. Didn't like know it. we were starting out with Everclear. <laughs> do you ever, do you ever have a bad night on Everclear? No yeah, one ever I, had a good night on Everclear. Oh, I saw their concert and I just threw no, up no, no, constantly. No, no. What's going to happen, everybody? Nolan North, <laughs> Troy Baker. We're just going to start the show because we don't really know how to start the show. Uh, <clears throat> cheers. <laughs> Cheer. Drink carefully. <laughs> he gets choked up sometimes. Now I'm stuck on Everclear. Mm. Like, I don't... <sighs> yep, that's ever clear. I will buy you a new house. Where'd you do it? It's like Randy Newman. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's who I just thought about. Randy Newman got, like, like bleached out hair and some piercings. And they call it grunge. Art, right? Art. Art Alexakis. I wanna, I'm pretty Alexakis. sure that was his name. He does a show on, on Lithium on Sirius XM. Does he really? Right now, he has, like, some kind of thing. I will buy you a new house. We can shout at you, Zays. I will buy you. Buy you a new house, perfect, shiny, and new. Oh, it's like we did the house yeah. in a gloss, high gloss paint. I like the shine. Uh, like the the shine. neighbors have all moved. Yeah, because they, bl they were blinded. Because they thought it was made of Legos. The sun hits it just right. It it's just, a Lego house. It's like the Raiders wow, of the Lost Lego Ark. House. Like. <laughs> like the, what, like, what's with the rain? We've got a lot of music references Lego going house. on. Lego, Lego House is a music. Lego House is an Ed Sheeran song. Is it really? I'm gonna pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. Yeah. He plays a guitar. God I find them little red-headed fellers. He also does the does the pedals with his feet and stuff. He's like a he's a one-man show of, of Have you ever uh, seen him? Uh live? Yeah. Um, I saw him at the Hollywood Bowl. It was it's really impressive. What he does, yeah. There's friends of the guys that, that I play with have like played with him and or have like opened up for him or whatever. And yeah, because like really here's good the dude. thing, there's nobody else out on the stage. It's just him and pedals. He tells a story about people complained because they said there's clearly a band somewhere, hmm. and but he doesn't show them. And he's like, no, it's just me. Yeah. And this is how he does. And he, and he had a camera guy came out and watched him do the loop pedals as he, he you know, p percussion on the on the guitar. And then he gets the, just like one of the, the riffs going. And then he, and then he does his backup vocals. Yeah. And then he marries it all together right in front of you. It's it's really impressive. When we got paid. We'd buy cheap spirits and drink them straight. Speaking of Reds. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, I did. Man, I we have a show called Ginger Attack. Nope, nope, no. nope. Russian. Uh, Russian Attack. Russian Attack. So when I and I had forgotten about this um, guy in the cage. You meant the one in my house? Spiky one with the beard. Like soup. A lion. What's his name? Drew. Drew. Oh yeah. Did you, um, did it you, was super awkward in the did parking you lot. The cage. No, he just chews through the bars now. We were in the parking lot, and I was like, hey. Buddy's like, hey Troy. I'm like, hey man. You couldn't remember. Couldn't remember. I always. Know I almost a... said Timothy for some weird reason. The hoodie and the dark sunglasses. I was like, you know what I do? What? I have a sharpie with me, mm -hmm. and every time I see him, I just start writing a, a, like on his face, and I go, what am I draw? Drawing Drew. <laughs> That's how I know. I drew a dick on your forehead. <laughs> That's yeah. what it is. There's not much um, room left. Well, that guy reminded me um, on this piece of paper here mm -hmm. as well. It was in Green Beret. This was an arcade game. So this is one that they said, let's bring this to the kiddies at home. Oh my god, I remember that now. Yeah, I you remember, remember Green this? Beret. Green Beret? Do you remember the Green Beret song? I love any game with fashion sense. Fearless men who jump and die. No, I don't remember the Green Beret song. Just, <laughs> Sorry, that got me. If you go to war, fashion look sense. good. Nazis had the best uniforms. <laughs> Hugo Boss. I think except we covered that in one. Except Uncle noldy has got one problem with the German uniform. Helmets, but head of a penis. Especially the World War One with the spike. No, no, the spike. Well, that's what mine looks like. But that was after a week in Thailand. Rush and attack. I can't help but notice they spelled Russian wrong. No, but you get it's a pun, play on words, a little Shakespearean oh, thing. Oh, like Rush and Russian band. and. Ru 
like Tom Sawyer. I'm hanging up. Something like that. Bang, 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 bang. Tom Sawyer, right? Russian? Uh, Rush? A Monday warrior, mean, mean stride. Today's Tom Sawyer, mean, mean pride. Okay, so Russian right. attack. I do remember the Green Beret thing uh, in, the, in the arcades, Ooh. oddly enough. There were certain points in my life where we didn't have a lot of money. So there were very few times when I got to uh, got to play games. This was one that I did though, and instantly. Did you play this in the arcades as as? I played uh, in the arcades. Green Beret, or did you play Russian Attack? Both, but I played more Russian Attack than I did Green Beret. So because instantly when I have this, I'm 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 thrown back to where it's like, it's like two o'clock in the morning, and I just had to play as much as I could before this. I had to give it back. <laughs> So, oh, that's right, because you, uh, you rented the games. Yeah, right. it's got a knife. Like, this is really, this is up close, personal. They said, you know, you get a bazooka, but man, can so you... So it goes from knife to bazooka. Can you imagine? Really no in-between. Like, how to do that? Like, hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Love to. Love to. Could you do that? I oh, I, I, could, I, could, I could stab a nun if I had to. When they have the knives and you could tell they know that's how to use... That's not true. Yeah. They hold the <clears> knives and they, they do like in that... Like, this kind of way you're like, oh, you know how to use that thing. Do you know it's funny that you mentioned like, that? Well, I'll, well, I'll never forget, we, we, I think we talked about this uh, uh, when we talked about World War II movies, but Dirty Dozen? Yeah. Uh, Telly Savalas, mm. in, when they're, you know, he's, he's psycho. And he, in that part, he's got the baby. woman and he's got the knife. And it, it's, it's really interesting. I'll never forget this. Because um, I was probably pretty young when I saw it, but it, here I am, years and years later. I remember he, he goes, he's like, Shh, and she's gonna be quiet for him. And he, you see his eye, in his eyes, he was a great actor, that knife, and he just slowly Dude. puts it into it. And you hear the silk on the dress mm -hmm. as the knife goes through it. <laughs> like Being serious with, you, with your story, it's like that, that scene. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, it was that uh, Adam Goldberg, right? He's like, no, shh, no. Shh, 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 shh. Oh. And he's going, no, you don't, no. no. I was watching uh, This Is Xbox Us. Xbox 360. Season three of This Is Us, dude. I don't know if anybody's watching this show or not, but it's just. I am not. Have you watched the show at all? Nope. It, it's just like, hi, we're a tear factory. That's yeah, all we I don't, do. I don't, I'm cried in my daily life. It's, it's written so well. And Ron Cephas Jones, man, fuck. Ah. I would have liked to have met my son's father. God, he's such a good... All of the actors, Milo Ventimiglia... Yep. And he, came, he just happened to be on, like, they were doing Gilmore Girls, and he just popped over to set. And I was like, who was it? I was like, Milo Ventimiglia or whatever, and he was like, oh, like, cool. No idea who he was. Yeah. If I'd known now, I'd be like, dude. And we met him at some con. He was a super nice guy, but well, I, his perform, performance in that show is just... Make me feel like I'm home. Never really felt like that before. Uh, I worked with Milo and Alan Tudyk on uh, Conman, voiced over. Dina Torres played the director. There's a, literally a part of that, where what Tudyk's doing. Milo was a much better actor than I am, apparently, because he could keep a straight face. You actually see me. You're cracking? I bit my lip inside, because uh. I, I had ruined two or three takes beforehand. Who was but Al you Alan just goes, ah, he makes this noise. <laughs> and I, go, I went, <laughs> <laughs> and I bit right there, and until I could taste blood, because I was like, and I was pushing my my lip in, and you can watch that episode somewhere. It's called Voiced Over, Season One, Con Man. Let's hide. Let's hide. Let's hide. Let's all of us hide. Hide me. Let's hide and recoup. And heal our wounds, gain strength, and then take it to the enemy! Uh, no ad libs. He just ad libbed. Uh, yeah, let's move on. It was one of the best days. Matter of fact, something you'll love. We recorded that where Stevie Nicks and uh, Fleetwood, Fleetwood Mac. Mac recorded their albums. It's over in West LA. It was West LA. No, I mean, there's pictures of this famous place where they, they did a bunch of their albums. God, you Something. and I are like tangential kings. Anyway. Plot! Up for a little guerrilla warfare. Ah. You asked for it. Hmm. You're behind enemy lines, armed with only a knife and a mission. <laughs> to free dozens of Ooh. POWs hidden in an isolated, well-armored camp. If you're good, 
If you're a good little boy, you'll pick off the heavily armed enemy gorillas one by one and grab their bazookas and hand grenades. If you're great, they're great. You'll turn their weapons against them to blow away a pack of attack dogs, uh, a fleet of choppers, <laughs> and a whole battalion of gowards. But this make is... one mistake, one mistake, and it's all over for you. That's a separate sentence he put in there. Make one mistake, and it's all over for you. For you. Those guys will still keep going on and destroying the world. Here we go. Your mission. Our pals, the future of the free world. Keep on rocking on the free world. I just parachuted I in. I love this. God Damn. bless you, Drew. Damn. Damn. Game Damn. clearly Damn. has a Cold War setting. Um, Even the title is a play on Russian attack. Uh, we have a problem. CCCP. We have a problem, Houston. Uh, did your controller die? Uh, I don't know, but it's not. Watch. How did, how did you do that? You gotta care about it. How did you do? You gotta want it. Well, I was gonna say, well, my well, I read the fucking plot, so. No, but I don't know what just happened. All right. I was trying to get the two player and failed. My, uh, is there my two thumbs players? are broken. Wow. Early in the episode, here we go. Or, I have to apologize for our previous episode. What? It was a mistake. It's on Drew's part. Oh. Just because if, if I do this, this can be Uncle Noli. It's kind of a signal. This like is third also Christopher coach. Walken. The, neither two shall, shall ever meet. Dude, the of the dude. Videos. Yeah, this is the demo, bud. Oh. Thought I was playing. Now, you know what I don't get? What? Like, sometimes, like, they, you know, wear fatigues. Mm -hmm. And, like, and, like I remember seeing them, like, the... Uh, clothing's so tired. They'd be, they'd be, you know, in white in the snow, but sometimes they just... like they, It doesn't look like it would blend. Well, if you're wearing, like, camouflage in the snow, then no. <laughs> Hold on, I'm parachuting in. Ready? Yeah. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, thank God. My Ooh, uh, good luck. Ankles. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, my okay. favorite mission were the sniper missions. When you're like... Ah, stab you! You Hi, come here, stab. have to go yeah. through the entire thing stab. without... This is what he does. Go through the stab. entire mission without shooting a single bullet. It's awesome. Let's follow them quietly and pick off any stragglers. I like saying stab when I'm stabbing someone. Stab. And do you do like the same thing during stab, sex? Stab, it's stab, like, stab. I'm, I'm having sex with you. I literally, no. sex with you. No, I go stab. And I go stab. And I say it three times and I'm like, done. I, don't, I haven't tried any other buttons. Do you I don't have any other buttons. There is jump and stab. And stab. There is don't die and die. Oh, hold on. Now, stab. you need a bazooka really uh, badly. Stab. Because... You're gonna hit those mines. Or you're gonna die. Why didn't he stab you? Because they're his mines. Why do I? Why can't I get a bazooka? Stab. Come on, man. There's no friendly fire. Stab. Hopscotch. Ah. <laughs> you have to go. You have to do. There this, you go. Ready? That guy's got a bazooka. Yeah, stab. See how it looks stab. different than everybody else? Yeah, but I'm not chasing him. He's running away from me. Stab. Here's the thing. Stab. I don't they're like. There's a crazy guy in a blue outfit with a knife. Ah! Why don't you just hey, jump hey, into stab. one of those trucks with a nuclear weapon on top of it? My and, name and is Telly Savalas. I'm the guy doing stabbing on the stabbers. Stab, stab, stab. Comment on that. Come here. Stab. Why wouldn't you just get into one of those trucks and like just go, hey, I have a nuclear warhead pointed at you guys, instead of stabbing them with a knife? I don't like, I'm a guy who's like, you know what they call me? They call me Johnny Collateral Damage. I don't like collateral damage. Look at that. I looks like an asshole. <laughs> this is our stab. son, Jonathan. Oh, yeah! Johnny. Did What's his middle did name? Did you see that? Collateral did... Damage. Na, 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 na. Stab. Na, 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 na. Looking down the barrel of your brown eye. Did you get a checkpoint? Oh, I don't mean to, I don't. Oh, look at, you know what he did? He cut me right in the back of the artery, in the back of the leg. Pass the step. Step. I don't, I don't mean to jump sometimes. It looks like jump is just, oh, jump is that. Sometimes step. when we jump. The honesty is too much. That's why you want that bazooka, get it. Step. Now you can blow shit up. But I can still stab, right? Stab. We can stab you off right <laughs> just, behind. I don't know why that, that makes me laugh. I don't hey, know why Hey, where are you either. going? Ah. Oh. Come on. No, you can't let off like a ha ah, sound after stabbing someone. Tur turn around and shoot that guy. There we go. Oh. Uh, now go up there and get it. Will, tap, tap. Oh, oh kick jump in the kick face to the and you're face. done. Jump kick to the face. Game over. Running around in my blueberry outfit. 
Is it, That's me. Is it Stabby weird? Steve. Is it? Stabby Steve. Stab. Stab. You know what? Here's a, here's a, here's a key. You're carrying a bazooka? Use the bazooka. Brought a knife to a bazooka fight. <laughs> Mmm. See, it's the just knife. A show between you and I. But the knife is better because the knife you can like eat with. Look at that. He lied down and stood up to do the whole uh, dying. No, remember the uh, you know that shot. He he does that. Watch that. Look at him. Ah. <laughs> Who was it in Platoon? Who was that? In Willem Dafoe. Yes. In Platoon, wasn't it? Now that Duffy has relinquished his King Bonehead crown, I see we have an heir to the throne. Oh! Did you see that little... Wow! Homie's got ups. Stiff legs. You're gonna try to do it again and die. What do you mean? Oh, oh shit. I hit the wrong button. That was my fault. You think? Yes, it was. That was the game's fault. I believe it was the game's fault. Where's the guy with the bazooka? We talked about this before, like how Red Dawn was like, was that a was a training video that for was us. Like a, yeah, you, you were ready. I, we were sitting in New England going, when they come, this is it. we'll be ready. I remember being- What do you got? I got a BB gun. I was- I in, didn't have, we didn't hunt though. Stab. Ah! Ah! ah. Okay, hold on, I can't, I can't jump no. and talk at the same time. Uh, I did not. My dad, semi-collected guns and swords. So we had like a- S-words. Yeah, S-words. I'll take S-words for 500. Just like your mother, Trebek. Okay, that wasn't your score. Well, 69 is how I scored with your mother last night. <laughs> that never gets old. There's other things that get old. I know one thing that doesn't get old. <laughs> oh, by the way, that was really handy with the knife right there. I like that. Look Handy at his knife. with the knife. Notice this. He has a blue knife. He's like, I want the one that coordinates with my outfit. Yeah. Blueberry Bob running through the field. Blueberry stabbing Bob. Stabbing people. Oh. Stabbing. By the way, do you notice? Did you, did you notice? Hi, everybody. I'm Blueberry Bob. Green Beret couldn't make it, so the blue one came instead. Look out. It's a, it's a happy knife I'm stabbing you with. <laughs> it tickle. <laughs> it tickle. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Uh, tickle fight! Uh. Your day. Oh, that's your name. Dead, too. <gasps> I ran out of bullets. Yeah, shit. But you know what I'm gonna do? Hi. 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 Sometimes. Oh, oh, I gotta look out for the guy, dude. the red pant guy. You know what it is? What is it's it? It's fucking ladders. Hold ladders. On. Ladders are like... ladders. Oh, Blueberry Bob running through the parking lot with I, the tanks. I remember going, did we talk about this Twilight Zone episode? I'm a huge fan. <gasps> did you mm. watch the trailer for Twilight Zone? I did not. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh look at that. Avoided the voice. Oh my God, dude. I can't, Jordan Peele. Man, DJ Fixman and I like go off on Rod Serling. His masterful use of the English language is, is unparalleled. Um, he wrote, I think, 138 of the episodes of Twilight Zone. And I... Jordan Peele did? Rod Serling. Oh yeah. Jordan right. Peele is show running and hosting the new Twilight Zone. I want to see it though. And yes. everybody out there should, right after they subscribe to Retro Replay. <laughs> That's a little pitch. We're supposed to do that, I heard. No. No? Right, because if they're watching, they've already subscribed. If they haven't, they're a bunch of lame cretins. That's what I say. And you know what they need? They need Blueberry Bob to come to their house. Say, subscribe, subscribe, or get stabbed. Subscribe, substab. Hi, what are you, your name? I'm sorry, I'm just having a very good time by myself. Yeah. Oh my god, so, you're here! Uh, yeah. Can you play this? Because, like, I, I, I really want to yeah. see what happens. Jordan Peele is doing Twilight Zone. Tell me all about it now that I can pay attention. <laughs> One of my, like, <laughs> all-time scariest Twilight Zones was actually one yeah. of the newer ones. Took place, like, this era, like, 85, 86, 87, or whatever. And there was what a one? woman who could uh, freeze time by saying, shut up. And the way that they end the episode <clears throat> is she says, shut up. And right as the TV is announcing that Russians have launched a nuclear missile and it's in the air and she like goes outside and looks up and it's right there. So time is frozen, mm. everyone is frozen around her and what do you do? It leaves her going with time frozen. It's like, what do you do? Everyone you know is frozen in time. 
and you're left staring at a nuclear missile in the air. It's terrified me. And it terrified Wait, me. I don't think I, I don't, I haven't seen that. Dude. It, it terrified me because it was like, what a, what a horrible claustrophobic predicament to be in. Like, what do you do? Well, I remember having absolute nightmares back in 19, the day after. Oh was my a, was God, a, the day after. That was a TV, <clears throat> it was like TV's. a made for TV movie. Yeah. It's like, hello, the world blew up. I literally, uh, had, I used to wake up at the same time every night for uh, over a month. Uh, and it, the nuclear ash was all over my neighborhood and I couldn't find anybody. And there was just dust piles, because that's how they showed people dead. This was a dream? They, 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 yeah, I just had nightmares after that. Oh my God. I was probably 10, 11 years old. And I just, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of bedwetting, but it wasn't my dad's fault. He just drank a lot. <laughs> There's so much about that completely driven by propaganda. Like Russians felt the same way. Yeah. Well, Come don't on. Don't you remember Sting? What? Don't the Russians love their children too? He does a better job. I hope the Russians love their children too. See, Sting does it a little bit better. I bet the Russians love their children too. And then <gasps> Elton John. I remember one little Nikita. Oh, Nikita, you will never know yeah. anything about my home. And I remember sitting there going, I think he doesn't really like Nikita. He wants Nikita's Nick. outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, because Elton John's like in, in shot it in, uh, I think it's in, in Moscow, but it's actually probably Berlin. I think it's the Berlin Wall, and he's Man. like on the other side, and he's but he's got his outfit, and you're like. Okay, that's the West, <laughs> wearing like colorful furs and huge glasses. And there's Nikita. Oh, she was so smoking hot. Nikita, you will never know. Never know. First time I was ever on a plane was to Germany. Really? And the, yeah, and the, I was 13 years old. <clears throat> and this was right after um, the wall had come down. Like, I remember when Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. You're doing very well, by the way. I'm very happy for you right now. And still talking. I'm gonna, yeah, I know, but you're better than I am. I know that. But don't they look like, are they, oh, he's a kicker. Oh, he's the you kicker. son of a bitch. He's the kicker. I'll tell you something, but these guys, they look like the, like the American revolutionary. Uh, it's like our the American. Yeah, they look completely like Patriots. Pop the beans. The New England Patriots. We've talked about this before. Super Bowl champs. Give them two times Super Bowl champion with the New England Patriots, Vince Wilford. I, uh oh, uh oh, come on. Oh, you killed Paul Revere. Let me play now. I'll, I'll, I'll try to talk more. You, I, and carry us. <laughs> it's all on you now. The Love. third brother of this family has just been sent in to, to Oh, we're up to like cousins. <laughs> Brothers are <laughs> all dead. Oh, well, they, they, got, like, well, they killed the triplets. We're, we're on to like Blue Timothy now. There's none. You know what? Remember Cloak and Dagger? Mr. Stamp. Dabney Coleman oh, and Henry I love Thomas. That. Loved it. Shot Is in that San Henry Antonio. Thomas? Yeah, dude. Henry Thomas? I cannot speak. Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> Mr. Henry Tumnus. Yeah, that's some secret code or something there. Can you take a look at it? Speaking of like propaganda, as far as like that's how how the way that we saw Russians was largely contributed to Oof, I just lucky. got I just got jumper. Largely contributed to by propaganda. That was this is the Cold War, which was lack of information or misinformation. Now we have an abundance of information. Like too much. How how do how was my day impacted by the owner of the Patriots? Fuck you, guy. I tried to jump too and I I messed it up. So I'm you know it's not even his fault at this point. Oh, you almost had him. I tried to jump and How stab. How was my day impacted Good. by some dude being in a prostitution ring? I just laughed. It's like, uh, people made a big deal of it. I'm like, uh, you've never heard of, like, yeah, it's news. Why is that news? You know what I mean? Like, I I feel like we know too much. I, Men in Black, when he goes, there's always a Karelian death ring. There's always something that's, that's um, threatening to destroy the world. The main reason why people go on living their lives is because they do not know about it. The only way these people get on with their happy lives is they do not know about it. Easy way to say is that mind your own damn business. Kind of. Like, I don't need to know who was involved in a prostitution ring. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a wall. I'll build a wall around myself. <laughs> I'm going to set it on fire. Put crocodiles by Are it. Are we better served I by better having that 
much information. And furthermore, if you're only getting your information from one <laughs> I'm trying to duck under him. I panic! <laughs> I, I can't stop panicking. I see the red pajama guy. I'm like, ah! And I just shove it up my ass. I can't do this. God. Social commentary. Oh my God. Um, controller in the anus. I just got really flush. When you were a kid, we talk, let's go back. I'm I'm so curious to see. No, when we go how far I do back, go, you're gonna try I'm and tune going way in. back. Um, okay. You were talking about when you rented this game as a kid and you had to play as much as you could. Mm -hmm. I get it. This is this is addictive as hell, and I haven't even gotten out of the first level. I'm running by trucks and beautiful mountains, which I just actually drove. Are by. we still on level one? I don't think we've gotten anywhere. Hi, hi. Can can you come here? I, I might want to see if I can have another one of those. I don't even know if there's. You haven't even you haven't. Oh, you oh, rescued. You son of a bitch! I can't get by. It, it, which which POW did you rescue? None. It says POW zero. Well, you had one. I did. Mm. Well, I might have stabbed him. I like stabbing people in this game. I stab a lot. This guy's arms got to be just just exhausted. But yeah. Game over again. Okay. Um. We have we have a problem. Okay, we've been, we've been, I, I, I don't know if I can do this. I want to, but I think this might be, it might be better suited if I do this alone somewhere. We're talking about the game. Yes. Okay, just, just needed to clarify. Cause... Can you, can you, could you take over and see, because I'd like to see what happens when I rescue one person. I just, they, they, these people are like... We're, They're sending in the. It's like we're out of we're out of family now. There's this like, is not the Green Berets. The Green Berets are the best of the best. They're basically sending in the guy going, "I was working at a Dunkin' Donuts. They gave me this really nice blue outfit and a sharp knife, and I uh, I said, yeah, I'll go stab dudes. Where are they in Russia? Well, I don't know where that is. Oh, I know it. That's that's, near, that's over near Quincy, isn't it? I stabbed the guy in in in. No, 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 no. I was in Brockton. I was in Brockton, home of marvelous Marvin Hagler. I just started stabbing people. <laughs> they didn't care. They didn't care. And then, but I've, oh my God, if they gave me a bazooka, oh, dude, that'd be wicked awesome. Imagine going to Fenway Park with a fucking bazooka. Dude, it'd be crazy. Oh, oh, oh. and a knife. Oh, I brought a knife before. It's over by the fence, good place to lose a body. Just saying. By the way, everyone in Boston, Massachusetts knows exactly what I'm talking about. Went from Uncle Nolly, kids. You gonna stab, stab anyone? Hide a body? The fence. And by the way, most deadly thing on earth, not a bazooka or a knife. It's red pajamas. Fuck this guy! I'm so angry! Hey, do you wanna be on the show sometime? <laughs> How you been, Troy? Everything good? <laughs> How you doing? Hey, stand up. Got something for you. He's wearing. Uh, oh! I got him! I got one guy in the freaking PJs! And then that guy got him, his brother. You know what? I'm good. I think that's level one for me, right? I got a guy in red pajamas. Please don't let me play this anymore. I can't stop talking. I can either talk all the time during this game, or I, or I can't talk at all. Do you understand? I'm not happy right now. I'm in a very bad place and I need your help. I'm running, I'm stabbing. I feel like a fucking psychopath. And oh. what do we play next? Somebody caught a finger on right. Monday. That's a Jimmy Buffett song. Much better. I got, what are you doing? It's not funny, you guys. This is serious shit. I can't do this. I don't know if I should stab him or shoot that, but I can't get by the right guy in the red pajamas. It's not a joke. That's funny. You're dead to me, Drew. <laughs>